I want to encourage you to push through and pray until something happens. Maybe you need an absolute miracle in your life. Maybe you need God to do something big. Maybe you need God to move a mountain for you or your family. I want to encourage you to push through and pray until something happens. Jesus told a story 2,000 years ago which teaches us the power of this principle. It's found in Luke chapter 11, beginning in verse 5. Jesus said, Suppose one of you has a friend and goes to him at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. Because a friend of mine on a journey has come to me and I don't have anything to offer. Then he will answer from inside and say, Don't bother me. The door is already locked, my children, and I've gone to bed. I can't give up and give you anything. Jesus said, I tell you, even though he won't get up and give him anything because he is his friend, listen, yet because of his persistence, he will get up and give him as much as he needs. And then he continues, so I say to you, ask, keep on asking, and it will be given unto you. Seek, keep on searching, and you will find. Knock, keep on knocking, and the door will be open unto you. There are three principles in this passage for praying until something happens. Number one, pray specifically. The guy asked for three loaves. He didn't say, bless me. He didn't say, give me some food. He said, I want three loaves. You know, our God is big enough to hit a, an exact target. I learned this a long time ago. I was a student at a very strict college. I didn't have any money. All my money went for my classes and my room and board. And I had to get a haircut. They had strict rules about the length of your hair, touching your ears and your collar. Not a problem now, but it was for me back then. Well, I had a resident assistant who one night said, you've got 24 hours to get your hair cut. And if it's not cut, you're gonna be in big trouble. I had a problem. I didn't have any money. I didn't have any place to get it cut. I didn't know anybody that could cut, cut hair any, any good. And so I prayed and I read this story that night and I prayed, God, he got three loaves. I need a haircut. I need it within 24 hours and I need it to be free. And it'd be great if it's a good haircut. Well, I prayed, I went to sleep. I went through my day the next day. I was at dinner the next night eating with a friend. He had a young lady with him. He introduced her to me. I asked her, I said, well, you weren't here last semester. Uh, what were you doing? She said, I was in beauty school learning how to cut hair. She said, I've been here two weeks. I miss cutting hair. I'm thinking of starting a hair cutting business on the side, but to get back in practice, I'd like to cut your hair. You need a haircut. You have nice long brown hair. I did back then. She said, I'd like to give you a haircut. I'll do it tonight and I'll, I'll do it for free. Yay God, he hit my target. You gotta pray specifically. Pray uh, stubbornly. It says in verse eight, he doesn't get up and answer because he's his friend, but because of his persistence. The relationship didn't bring the answer, the persistence brought the answer. You gotta be stubborn sometimes. Keep going to God, keep on asking, keep on seeking, and then steadfast. Don't give up, keep on asking. Keep on knocking, day after day, time after time, again and again, and you know what? Our God is big enough to make things happen, but our job is to pray until something happens.